This morning, the presumptive Democratic presidential candidate, Joe Biden, once again taking a shot at Wall Street. But, you know, he, he's gaining unlikely company and in, uh, interesting for his disdain for this market. Many in the financial media are not only baffled at this rally, but now they're beginning to frame the so-called disconnection of the rally with uh, something, uh, you know, with the, what's going on in, in the public with something evil, even nefarious. So what are the dangers of demonizing the stock market? I want to bring in Bonson Group CIO, David Bonson. David, you just wrote a piece recently sort of talking about this. I mean, we're not talking about people being upset that the Fed is printing money. We're talking about something else completely different. Yeah, I think that there's a generic class warfare piece to it. I I think Biden's comment this morning was extremely unhelpful because everybody believes that the middle class and the workers help build our country. But the point is, is that that takes capital to do it. And Wall Street represents the capital markets that are at the heart of capitalism. Your point you're bringing up is that there seems to be people who are upset at the idea of a stock market doing better in the midst of the COVID pandemic And it's very misguided and it speaks to, first of all, a lack of moral clarity, but also a misunderstanding about basic economics. The market is leading the way in forecasting that the economy is going to get to a better place, that our country, as it always does, is going to overcome this adversity. There's a research report out from MBER and now suggests that the nation has two options uh, because we kind of know COVID-19 is going to rebound in the fall and in winter, right? So you can have a selective lockdown. It would it would hit the GDP less than 10 percent. Mortality rates would be 0.5 percent or go back to complete lockdowns. GDP down more than 30 percent, but mortality at 0.2 percent. So, David, which one of these would really be a Faustian deal? Yeah, see, I I won't go with the false dilemma because I have no confidence in any of these people creating models to give us something remotely resembling reality or the truth. Ultimately, Charles, you're right. There's these tension points that exist between health and, and economic freedom. And the right play is for us to focus on both. And the way we can do that is by giving people the freedom to be responsible. The freedom protects our economic well-being, and the responsibility allows us to protect the health. These things can be done by a grown-up free society. These tension points are totally made up by media and politicians.